Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. We're continuing our look at romantic snafus that happen when somebody engaged to be married suddenly falls in with somebody else. We have a gem for you from Delbert Mann, the Academy Award winning director of dramas such as Marty and Separate Tables and wonderful comedies like Lover Come Back and That Touch of Mink. This next movie is best described kind of as a dramedy, a mix of comedy, drama, and poignancy. The title is Dear Heart. It stars Glenn Ford, Geraldine Page, and Angela Lansbury. And it's a really terrific film that's never really received the attention it deserves. It somehow flew under the radar when it came out in 1964. It was not a hit, and it really should have been. It's such a delight, a pure, unadulterated pleasure. I have no idea why it didn't catch on with audiences. Maybe it was the offbeat chemistry of its stars, Glenn Ford and Geraldine Page. Maybe it's just that people were more interested in the bigger movies that year, like My Fair Lady and Dr. Strangelove. But if you don't know this movie, Dear Heart, I do urge you to give it a try. In the film, Geraldine Page plays a friendly postal worker from a small town, friendly to the point of exasperation. And she goes to New York for a postal convention. Then she unexpectedly falls under the spell of a salesman played by Glenn Ford, and he falls for her. But there is a hitch. Ford is about to marry Angela Lansbury, who in her own way is also exasperating. And this, by the way, was Angela's second film with Delbert Mann. She was one of his stars of his drama, The Dark at the Top of the Stairs, playing an entirely different kind of role. And two years after this film, she and Mann made a third film together, Mr. Budwing, with James Gardner. Angela again, playing a wildly different part. Mr. Mann recognized what so many of us had known for years, and that's about the great versatility of Angela Lansbury as an actress. Here with music by Henry Mancini and a hilarious performance by Barbara Nichols from 1964, Dear Heart.